Hello team, welcome to another ATP Geopolitics video with myself, Jonathan MSP. This is Ukraine War breaking news update for the 14th of November 2024. I spoke to you in a video earlier today that the introduction of troops into the Kursk front from North Korea, these 12,000 or so North Korean troops that the Russians have been able to bring to bear, have been a game changer. Because I think the Russians and the Ukrainians were getting to a very critical point of the war where particularly the Russians had, had, had massive attrition of their personnel and equipment that it was getting uh, to be entirely unsustainable. They have been pressing everyone on the front line and that needs a lot of troops. And they've also been losing a lot of those troops. They have they are on the brink of economic collapse or certainly, you know, it's it's fairly close. And this is leading to labor shortages or is a result of partly labor shortages due to the war. There's been uh, these refugees escaping from Russia or people escaping drafting by getting out of Russia, meaning that it's quite difficult for them to get the troops necessary to throw into this meat grinder of a war. And North Korea came along after this bilateral agreement with them that was somewhat similar to NATO Article 5, which for NATO means that if you are attacked as a NATO member state, you are defended by all NATO member states. They come to your aid. This is a similar agreement between North Korea and Russia, whereby if Russia is attacked, North Korea will come to their aid and vice versa. Given the Kursk invasion, if you like, by the Ukrainians, that is Russia being attacked, North Koreans can come and help them. So they've been brought to bear in Kursk, and this has got Russia out of a hell of a hole. They have suddenly have 12,000 people they didn't have before. And actually, I've argued that it's no skin off either of their noses if it was 100,000. So I think that is uh, not an endless supply, but the Russians have the ability to draw from vast numbers of North Korean soldiers. This is a game changer and the West needs to have a massively robust response to that and they haven't yet so far. It has all been a bit muted and I think Russia have just been emboldened by this lack of response and they're like, right, well, we've got two armies now and they've basically got two armies. The worst case scenario is if you start seeing equipment from the North Koreans also ending up on the front line because the Russians are definitely struggling with equipment. We're seeing D-30s, D-20s, M-46s, these really old howitzers being used. Well, it turns out that now we are indeed seeing Russian equipment on, uh, sorry, North Korean equipment uh, getting sent to the front lines. The claim is a North Korean 170mm heavy self-propelled system, the M1978 Koksan, has been spotted in Russia. The firing range is up to 60 kilometers. This is a real concern. So a 40 to 60 kilometer range equivalent to the Pion S2 S7, which is the Russian gun that looks fairly similar to that, really long barrel, has a huge range. Um, this is an old school bit of kit, but if suddenly the the Russians have access to North Korean kit, the, the Ukrainians are in trouble. They really are. This is not good news at all. So the Coxan 1978 is, um, it's obviously trying to find out as much as one can about North Korean weapons is quite difficult. It's fairly secretive, uh, based I think on a 90, uh, on the T-54 chassis, uh, looks very old school and Soviet era. Um, probably derived from a Russian naval coastal battery. Uh, there are three variants of the, uh, the M1978. I don't know which one this one is. I thought I'd seen somewhere it's an M1989, but uh, who knows? So that is, um, it's, it's just a real concern. If Russia has access to uh, a huge number of bits of kit, and it doesn't have to be new, it can be, you know, at the moment this war is being fought with a large range of old equipment yes there is some new equipment but when you've got both sides operating soviet equipment against each other for the russians to get hold of a, a huge quantity of that kind of equipment the the russians are, they're going to be loving it this is a real challenge for ukraine i'd like to see uh, an expedited response from the west concerning north korea's involvement in the war from both a personal and a material point of view really worrying if this is true so the, the image is obviously you know we just got that image to go by but that is transportation of one of these launchers on a train supposedly heading 
towards Russia and uh, or the front line in sorry in Ukraine. So that's that's a real concern. A uh, few people are talking about it. I guess it's one of these things that's going to filter through possibly at some stage. But um, yeah, not a good bit of news for the Ukrainians. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and whether this is something to worry about. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.